Nightbot, right? I have Nightbot mm -hmm. on. God, I'm just like, I'm remembering how to do all this stuff again. Um, I gotta go to the channel. My thing is being extremely fast. I'm showing so much stuff. You're not muted. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Neither am I. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Stream manager. I didn't have the stream manager open. That's why it was all going crazy. Also, <laughs> the Manta Memoria thing, I just... It's its not even blood. Well, it is blood. It's just really bad quality. That's it. <laughs> so it looks really good. And I'm... 10 out of 10. Amazing. I'm a very good graphic designer. You've got the Splatoon font. <laughs> uh, commands, custom, add command, bracket, message. Gotta find the link. It's nice and easy because this is called swap. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'll do it through here. There we go. You can do bracket too. And I gotta change the title because I'm very, very good at this stuff. Not slow at all. I'll be your music for you. <laughs> Welcome to Slop Cop number seven. <laughs> This is hype music. Woohoo! All right, my little jig is over. <laughs> We got the hosted by us. Should be all set by and us. ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just says hosted by us. They don't get to know who. Just, just some people. The title doesn't make sense. Do doesn't need to add to add to price. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm. I have issue with. Um. It's okay. It's true. <laughs> Take a breath. Cancel Everything. changes. We'll be okay. Uh, Take a not breath. panage. Edit stream info. Donate to add to the prize pool. <laughs> Just donate to add to prize pool. Look. Get rid of the D. Oh, I just realized the donated. <laughs> Crazy. Um. Alrighty. Oh, We're T minus four minutes. Should probably We're just should've... out of the cup, aren't probably we? Should have added the at for the other people mentioned. Um, four minutes. We're spelled... our first two teams. We're having up this morning, this evening. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I have to seed, and then we'll see, because. Waiting on seating, classic tournament vibe. <laughs> Is 
It should be quick though. Mm -hmm. Come on. These guys better. Better show up. I'm still gonna They're do the playing... five to four. Group this bracket. morning, nice one announced the two. Thanks. I'm just catering to the Americans. Hello. Really? What time is it? It's a isn't it like f like four a.m. for them? Yeah, it's the Something morning. Something crazy. Oh, some description. Could not be me waking that up that um, early. So the tournament sprinting. is round robin. Um, play three matches, I believe. Best of three. Play all three. Uh, best of three. Best of three, three rounds, and then into final stage, where the top four will go head to head against each other. I think it would be to, to eight. take the the sloth back. Yeah, the funny little spinning guy. Funny little spinning. Oh spinning my god! Back. I have to make a mo my emote on my stream. Oh, uh, I'll do that after okay. the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, Timo, two minutes. We have seating done. Seating done. Still waiting on check-in because check-in close closes in two minutes, actually, to be more precise. Oh, I see. And then it, it'll it'll take it won't take very long to seed. Should be okay. I guess the single elam would be a little bit harder. Repeat that afterward. Two minutes. Come on, come on. Who are we waiting for? Uh. Kirby finds Canada. Ah, uh, I feel like I feel like this is not an Australian team. <laughs> and oh no. I hate challenge because we can't look at the freaking team. Can you not? I can't see who's in in what team. Oh. I uh, just got to check in. You can see who's in what. That's what I'm gonna use because uh yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't want to use Battlefire because I can't use it. <laughs> so much Sounds more like you complicated. Just need some, some learning. Battlefire works a lot better though. The bracket system is so like a bad. Chicken. Just the bracket is so much harder to manage. I tried using it and it was really unfun. Oh, well, their time's run out. Alright, let's go. Alrighty, gotta remove them. And then do the fastest seating I've ever done in my entire life. How long do we give them to finish their games? Five minutes. Five. Start at XX5. <laughs> okay. Uh, what time should they finish? I give them 30. Uh, it's best of three, so 20 minutes. 20? By XX25. Okay. Okay. Save. Participant. And then... Do a little bit of the seeding. Check. And looks good to me. And very professionally run. By someone very professional. I'm mm. just the standby here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the chair watching. It's like trying to figure out where the buttons are. Okay. Uh, Wait. 
we are going to be viewing uh a raging hair versus meaty moblins meaty moblins versus raging hair Oh, our ranging hair, not raging hair. <laughs> They're cutting uh, up hair. My bad. Not, not, not that their hair is on fire. Meaty moblins, a greasy goblin spin-off. By the sounds of it, we got Toby, Link, Raimi, Jack, Nex, and Meaty Moblins. A raging hair has Kitsune, Kepler, Big Dub, Violet Girl. Looking like a stacked, stacked time. What's our first maps? Um, our first, first maps are Rainmaker, Undertow, Clan Blitz on Manta Maria, and Spot Zones on Inkblot. Not too bad of maps. Rainmaker, Undertow is interesting because it can... You can get stuck after that first check if you can't break through. Especially if you don't have the right specials. Mm -hmm. You don't have anything to dis displace. Displace homies. Displace the other teammates. <laughs> uh, yeah. Give them 20 minutes. That'll do. And then I got a... Gotta do some. Oh, I'm butterfingering this now. That's all right. You're fine. Do 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 do. Send up the epic graphics I made. I totally. Me just figuring out how to use Photoshop, basically. <laughs> should should look fine there. On capture card. Yeah. Jam. Hello, Jam. Hi, Jam. Jam. Some technical issues here. It's not technical. It's just. There we go. Do it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and it just allows the other team to get such a big push at the very start. It just sets them up for the rest of the game, basically. Mm -hmm. Also, make that decision, are you going to take left check first or are you going to take right check first? Obviously, the preference of the path is going uh, left side and up round onto the ramps rather than taking maybe the quicker right side but below their drop check. Because you will have to be fighting that high, uh, low ground or high ground. <laughs> the high ground, looking up onto the onto their plat. Yeah. I mean, if you have a couple of specials to take that that plat though, maybe you get a few extra points. Gotcha. Get a big push and then just hold. Do some more editing of the audio. Mm -hmm. Apparently, we're a little bit quiet. We're a little quiet. Come on. Turn us up. Turn us up. Without having to break my ears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want that. Yeah, the game sounds are quite loud. Oh, it is? Still? Still a little bit too loud. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, that has noise. Oops. <laughs> I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna remove that. We don't need it now. I'll just say if anyone donates, it's okay. Oh, I'm quiet, apparently. No. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just gonna Here turn we go. Up. Let's have a look. We got a Flingza, Stamper, Splash, Hot Dog. Or better known as a splatter shot. Interesting. Oh, you dry covers. And then we've got a wiper slash uh, ball plate coming out and splatter shot. It looks like meaty moblins <laughs> are going to be getting out. top there. Coming out with the missiles as well. I'm going for the left track. That's bad. That's right. Immediately rushing, but there is someone on site. And they're unfortunate, they get stalled in that little corner with a, a ranging yeah. hair coming up with their specials and crabs to defend. Meeting one of crab does go down, it's just the Rainmaker pushing for that check. And they do get points. Trying to get those extra points, but unfortunately, ranging hair is all over them. Ranging hair is going to be looking to get back into mid here. Isn't that Pulling out an ink trying to get some sort of thing. You get the kill with, to the Zuka. To the Zuka indeed. And they decide to pick up the Rainmaker rather than letting it reset into mid. Trying to use those big Rainmaker shots to get into that corner. Another set of missiles coming out from that Flinza. Pushing their Rainmaker into mid. Take a look here. Um, Meaty Moblins have taken that left it's side once again, pushing for that check. And they get checked. Doing well. I think they're gonna have to see a risk. Yeah, ranging her out. And to answer this big fight from Moblins. I still keep wanting to say Grizzly Moblins. Ah, and the ink check goes down. Just throwing Rainmakers up to the meeting weapon, trying to clear some way, getting a pick with the Rainmaker. Two of the bit, like, enemy team plays are down. Will they be as, okay? They've got a crash coming out and the bullfight is kind of poking them on the left there. The Rainmaker here is a little bit pinched. But they're all regressing right side, which leaves left side quite open for the Rainmaker to get through. They try and to the do little the backwards push. Rainmaker move. <laughs> Across that slip, indeed. Picking up again, they're still aggressive. Just waiting out the for old down that moment just they can The ball uh, does get the pick of the Rainmaker. They're holding. They're, holding. they're waiting. But uh, will it be enough for them, for needy moblins not to just rush forward through? Uh, All the team does go down again, and it is a wipeout. And it 
Looks like it'll be Mini Moblins taking the first game there. Very similar comps with the splash and shot on both sides. Mm -hmm. I think a raging hair, they're just unfortunately got a bit panicked from the Rainmakers in that corner. So they kind of were feeding two and two. I never had their full team up against Mini Moblins, mm. which is a very aggressive game. <laughs> game. Team. Team. <laughs> Not really using their specials. Well, they weren't really getting their specials when they were stuck up there. No, the inkjet going down, unfortunately, which would have held a great position. Keeping them at foe for a little bit longer. Our next map going into round two is Clan Blitz on Manta Maria. Manta Maria is... I, I like Manta Maria. I think it's good. I think it goes hard. Has that verticality. Machine is a little bit crazy on that map on Manta. Yeah, there's some... I, I will be interested to see if those splashes will come back out on this map because it isn't that great on Manta Maria. So maybe we'll be seeing some players switch off splash, maybe into Neo splash or, or another weapon. Love to see some machines. <laughs> yes, being a machine, <laughs> main yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. Also hope to see Dynamo, Toby play Dynamo. That'd be pretty funny I think, to see. I think, I think Toby's moved on from the Dynamo and has moved on to missiles. It's a little cringe, but Let's I have don't, a look here. don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. For our meaty moblins, we have that Blinza Splash, Bullpoint, and Tentatech. And the on the other team, combo. Wiper, Splash, Shot, and Bullpoint. So we are seeing those splashes return. But instead of the vanilla shot, we do see the T Tech come from meaty. That's exactly right. Looks like both teams are staying up for some specials here. Trying to take mid, mid together with the, with the specials. We already have the missiles coming out from Jimmy. The single player. Two are already down. This is their chance. Yeah, Midi, Midi has a great position here to push. Yeah, she tech already pushing into their three. Getting a trade off there. Unfortunate. But they still have two specials up their side and a ball. Pushing that ball in and immediately popping the crab out. Just I think back. A, range, a ranging hair really needs to, you know, group up here. Paint a bit more, get their specials, come back in. Rather than try and take on those. 1v1s. They do get a pick. They're 3v3 right now. Moblins did make a ball, but they weren't quite quick Fast. enough to get it over that cut. This Getting spotted by the again. torpedo. They're just holding but it up in their base. They are definitely holding it. Moblins is not giving hair any control of their space, which is quite unfortunate because they're playing at a height disadvantage here. Not being able to pick it up. Ballpoint, Ballpoint taking a pick on, on Link there. This could be their moment to regain. Meaty, surprisingly, holding their base did not kind of work together to get some times up until, you know, picking up the ball there. Maybe you have the tri strikes coming out. No one really using, like, pushing through them though. There is that. Getting a pick off that wiper. I think the problem there was that the, the ball point didn't wasn't able to find space to push forward and hold. They kind of left their teammates up in the sticks in that corner. They're all the players up again. They do have a ball. Will they be about able to... using their special skill here. Toby pulling out the missile. Yes, Arranging to find three of them. Good at yes, missiles do do a great job. I mean, players are just forced off the positions they're at. They either have to move forward into the aggression or they have to back out and paint up again. Violet Girl going down to the Plinza. They're still holding this basket open, they're getting another pick. They're three down, one returning back in. It's just the full point holding. And that and is game. Meaty had well, the that plan is a set. to hold. <laughs> That is our set. It's best of three. Round one over with Meaty taking the dubs against arranging here. The dubs. What's happened?
the uh, players our bracket ends at 25 past we have a few minutes here yeah unfortunately like i think arranging hair just really needed to work together and and gaining like just focus on painting for special there so at least they had something to answer um answer meaty moblins mm. they did have some points where they could not get a foothold against the power of tenor missiles <laughs> the power of tenor missiles indeed still still just a crazy special not as good as crab because i've seen people say crab is still really good but i would say otherwise i think crab is great i think on manta maria there's a it's quite tough to find positions like if you're defending there where can you actually crab from yeah so your, your only spot is really great with you know missiles coming at you with tri strikes coming at you your crabs your crabs at a disadvantage there with only having one spot to kind of poke from unless they go round and you know crab from behind basket uh when i say behind basket i mean to the right of basket mm. there's no is it real, potential like height that you can get mm, you are defending from a low point Dean. yeah Um, we will... Both teams doing their best. Playing the best. Playing Splatoon. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of confused by what's happening. Did you tell people it was best of three? Yes, but there's people that, um, just... Oh... I think that's what happened. People played their games from before. Ah, uh, they didn't. Before I see it. Refresh the bracket. They didn't refresh it. Uh, for everyone watching the stream, if you don't already know, um, there is a prize pool. Um, <laughs> it consists of a CSGO skin. And uh, eleven dollars. Yeah. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars and a CS:GO skin. Almost enough to buy a coffee. <laughs> yeah. Or if you want to sell the CS:GO skin. <laughs> Are you gonna be selling the CS:GO skin, or is it up to how how do you divvy a CS:GO skin? Um, uh, there's ways on selling it. I remember. Mm -hmm. Uh, but um, I'll give it to them and they can do what they want with it. I, I see. Won't... It's up to the players to... Yep. To sell the skin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna watch... I'm here un... for the comedic relief. We're gonna watch Unnamed and Great Question. Next. Oh, is that our next... Our next... That's from, that's from Group minutes. B. We're switching groups into Group B into Unnamed versus Great Question. Great question has Tiger on it, which if you've been following the OC comp community, Tiger's been breaking breaking skins here. Breaking skins? Breaking tides. Uh, following Tiger with the teams are, let's have a look. Rainsville, Loose Goose, and Beard. Some other great OC players. Wrestling Unnamed, which is Ty. Riot, Ice Clear, Chains, and Build a Bosk. Be interesting what they pull out here. Our next map's going in through to round two is Tower Control and Hagglefish, Rainmaker and Flounder Heights, and Clan Blitz on Museum. Tower Control Haggle. <laughs> it can really, this is another map that can snowball once you kind of reach second check. Having great control over being able to get back into mid, working up your specials. Again, I keep saying it, working up your specials mm -hmm. if you're on the defense such a big and important part using your specials correctly because just using it yeah. at random times as soon as you get it but you're at such a disadvantage working with your teammates and calling that out so they can utilize the specials as well is very important because uh especially like tower control haggle the the um third and fourth check or the last check is they're very close together and you don't have much time 
kind of have to be rushing in there. You really don't want to be wiping out. When they're taking third check, you'll be in a world of pain. I feel like bubble would be extremely important on this map, especially on that choke point near the end. Yeah, bubble does great, especially if they have like a charger on the on the snipe or um, like a bucket because buckets they're easily easy to slosh over. Mm. I feel like machine would do amazing because <laughs> just machine, just machines, just machine. Sloth is always on the machine grind, but uh, also like when you're attacking on the uh, on the offense there, um, getting up into their right. Uh, right underneath the canopy is important, especially as a slosher, slosher mm -hmm. player, I assume, because you can poke shots um, as people are Such free respawning, peak. dropping Picks. in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Having your tri strikes up there as well, amazing. A lot of good crab spots from this map. Um, they're sniping canopy on left side, crabbing on tower. Um, what are specials we see here? Wave breaker, you just kind of do as you can, chuck it out, mm. hope for the best. That's how I see Wastebreaker, at least. <laughs> Depends. Um, inkjet here could also be really valuable. Again, offense or defense, chucking up. Um, chucking up onto right side again. Getting that height off the tower. Yeah. Maybe Hopefully you can just push him back a little bit. Seeing some meta weapons. Also some non-meta weapons. See how people push these different weapons. Because... Currently, the meta being um, really not even that bad compared to what it was at the start. Well, yeah, meta earlier was slash slosher, <laughs> GGs. But now, you ha now you're seeing things like um, shot and um, T-Tech, still shooters. Um, seeing a lot of dualies, flat dualies in the OCU scene. Mm. Um, I think Tent is going to come back with the sizzle scene in coming through with Zuka especially. Our tent mm -hmm. might come back out of hiding. Maybe the, <laughs> the CDS as well with missiles. We might see a few more people picking up the mid-range dualies. I saw the, oh, what was it? The heavy spotling with Kraken. Heavy that gets spotling walls, with Kraken. Wall, that would be pretty good. <laughs> yeah, heavy spotling with a wall would be definitely scary to face. We still have uh, the E-leader mains, which, you know, does have an advantage over the um, heavy mains. Our bracket should be starting here soon. Yes. We're almost at 25 past. Hopefully teams are finishing up with their scores. <laughs> the two, the two people that are meant to be playing. Oh, did they have an issue with their brackets? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to add them right now, just to see what the hell they're doing. And unnamed. If I can find it. There we go. Organizing ourselves. Organizing <laughs> everyone. They'll just report their scores as is. Perfect. Are we getting our way into round two, hopefully? Unnamed versus great question. What is the great question of Splatoon? Um, why, do my, why do I get <laughs> M bubble lag, Splatoon? <laughs> <laughs> why why, why the like bad kits? <laughs> Can you gamble? You have a gamble roll? Gamble? What? A gacha roll. Ah, uh, no. You don't have a gacha. You have no money to gacha roll. Oh, wait. You mean <laughs> you mean this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gacha roll right now. I haven't even played today. How have you not played? I'm <laughs> on that gacha like hot sticks. Some say I have an addiction, but I would say they're wrong. Uh, I haven't even. I don't. I've never gotten the gold banner. 
You've never had a. You're not playing the gotcha enough. <laughs> Go again. Roll again. How much money do you have? Have one. I have enough. One more. Oh my god, you have you have 800k. High-end torpedo user. I'm a high-end <laughs> torpedo user apparently. <laughs> As a slosher main. Amazing. Yep. yep. You can see my. This is my torpedo. Box onto the enemies. All right. Have you announced here? We're waiting for one more. Come on. <laughs> Amy, you literally break your game at the speed you gamber after each game. <laughs> My game does have a tendency to glitch because I gamber too quickly. That's bad. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. Ink. What is this? Is that ink or this? No. I wasn't paying attention. It was. <laughs> oh, I can't remember them. God damn it. I don't remember the names of them. I just look at them and I know what it does, but I don't remember the names. Oh, it was um, ink, ink, uh, ink, 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 fill, re increase. Oh my god. It's a mouthful. Huh? <laughs> Can you say that one more time? Ink, ink, fill, Increase. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Could you say No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Come on. One score at least. Come on. What are we waiting for? One more? Come on. At. <laughs> Wait, no. Wrong people. At. Come on. Is it this and. Ditto. Is the game play? The Gamba holds a special special spot in my heart. I'm getting told by my associate known as Agent to play Valorant after the stream and stream it. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Valorant does go hard. I might. I actually might. Not for might. me though. I'm an Overwatch player. Ah, uh, basically the same game. The, basically Overwatch the same. Better. Uh, I'm still annoyed that they not doing the PVE thing anymore. Mm. Everyone's upset with that. What did I spend two years doing? <laughs> I just, I just want to making skins, obviously. One one, stop playing. You just gonna leave it as a tie? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as a tie. Okay. All right, let's go. Finally. Next game. Finally. End at. Uh, Can they not report their own scores here? Fifty. No, they just send it in. They just send in scores. It. I'll do it. Thirty. Should we do thirty minutes? Uh, nah, we'll they shouldn't have any problems now with the brackets. So twenty-five should be fine. 25. And then have five minutes to set up the next brackets, and then round three will start at seven. Okay. Start at. Start at. Start of that. Wait, hang on. We'll end it at seven. Just make it easier for these goobers to play. Perfect. Do I have any of these people friended? Uh, chains. If it's the chains that I know.
Probably should have added them that I'm watching them. Shit. Tiger playing letter league. Okay. Anyway. Let's there. go. <laughs> Just waiting for. I don't know if I have any good friends. So. People started a match. I don't blame them. Uh, wait, they're not even meant to start until one minute. Guess they're just quick. You get an entire Rainmaker in your gacha capsule. What? Rainmaker just be good at that. I think I have a couple of those. Okay, now I kind of want to open more. Yeah, open them. Trust me, it's it's fine. Confident festival. I can't. Fest. You've got this. I believe in you. Confident. Be confident about it. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It'll just it'll just we'll just leave it. Confident, confident. festival goer. Festival goer. Good. One more. Just one more. One more. I uh, I can stop whenever I want. I just yeah, don't yeah, want you it. can. Yeah, just keep going. Come just on, give me the gold one. Okay. Sharp, Sharp eyed, eyed human. human. I'm not sure I'm a human, but yep. Oh, red, nice. You get a banner. Congratulations. I only use one banner anyway. It's a Squid Sisters one. So do I, but I have all of them. <laughs> the the gacha keeps giving me banners, but keeps paying me out them. Just one more. Some more stickers. Nice. Just one yeah. more. Hmm. Uh. Hip hop fisher folk. Hip hop fisher folk. You're hip and you're hop and you are a fisher folk. Tiger just told me to watch someone else. Uh, I mean. Okay, now they can start. Did they have the room open? Me when I'm a fish. You're fisher folk. For real. I guess we don't get to watch one thing. We're missing out. They they just started without us. To be fair, you didn't put it in the... I didn't say that I was spectating the... them. But I did say to start a... 3-5. How, pe how are people already... Fi okay. I don't, I don't think people are reading the start at... Uh, oh well. It's okay. This is all good. As long as it's someone that I'm not sh streaming, I don't, I don't mind. 
<laughs> they get more time to mess around, I guess. Oh, they just told me the... I can't remember. And I'll, I'll just I'll just try the passcode to see if it works. So I'm so smart. Got this, I believe. Does it work? <laughs> Infiltrating rooms. <laughs> oh, that was the right one. Okay. Then. All right, we're on to tower control, Hacklefish. We're already on the next round. Um, Yay! Oh, what teams? Tiger on. Great question. Great question already has one point. Um, <laughs> very intense first Get match, you know. <laughs> you know, very intense match. With all those. You know, the four, the quad um, undercover Bretlo. From Great Question. Oh, were they playing quad under undercover? Yep. Totally. Amazing. Rainmaker Flounder. That one is. Oh, it is. I'm smart. Rainmaker Flounder. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think it should be Undertow. I think. I think what. Oh wait, no. I'm. I'm. No. I think what they did wrong is that <laughs> they made me uh, not spec. Ah, uh, looks like you're playing. Yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm, I'm subbing. Uh. Ten out of ten. How to run a tournament, everyone? Get the people to host the game in the spec. I don't know. If <laughs> they do this. Uh. <laughs> uh, some people. Some people that main it. I thought I remembered how to do it. I think I did. Just did it before me. Perfect. Oh my god, 12 paint? Yes. Carried that game. I got the there. most paint. Oh, how about you either get the same paint as me? It's like the worst I paint. Threw out a paint. shot. <laughs> That's the question. Can you, with full sanity, play quad undercover? I I reckon there's some mad lads out there, silvers, that would do that. Uh, I know people that have five stars with it, because they're just uh, mental. <laughs> silvers, you have five stars, right? All right, take two. Take two. Rainmaker Flounder Heights. Interesting map. Vertical, vertical maps. Because. Mm -hmm. Gotta make it vertical. I was gonna have a joke, but then I forgot it, so. Good job. Yeah, Flounder's a, a interesting map because, you know, again, it's one of those maps with the height defense. Uh, defending from a low height. Yeah. But I mean, once they drop their Rainmaker out, it becomes pretty more... Uh, it becomes easier to defend. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Let's, Let's check begin. Neo you know, Splash Heavy. Um, Carbon Roller Deco. Machine. 96 Gal. Splat Dullies, Bog, BP, and Wiper. God, that's a good thing. Yeah, they have quite a, quite a big range of top there, but they do have the, the ball point there. You can do great at both short and mid range. Heavy taking the side point. With 
defending against that. Already two picks on Arnishi. Just the machine, and it is a wipeout. Machine picking up that Rainmaker, heading towards the check. Orange team coming back, already a pick they on that will, Rainmaker there. Will they, they have a fair shot at the right check? They do get it. Yeah, that's what Dooley was looking to contest it there, but he might manage to push through. Unfortunately, again, Orange team going down to the heavy there. Just pushing Might be looking at a quick wipe here with the Booyah Bomb. Ooh. And that's, and that's set. Game. Well, set now. Under a minute as well. <laughs> yeah, one one game we viewed. Amazing. <laughs> that was quick. Was indeed going hard and going strong. I, it's what we expect from any team with Tiger on it, Loose Goose <laughs> and Bird in Rainsfield. They Boys. held very strong at the start there. Always love to see the the game and the absolute tryhards of Australia. Well, OCE. I um, well, that was the quickest set I've ever viewed. <laughs> gotta gotta make it a little bit more clear to start at the same time this time. Well, I should probably report the scores rather than doing what I was going to do. Great question is had a complete knockout streak this entire time, I think. Going 2-2 two, two with their games. I guess the great question could be answered. The great question of will they not drop a match? <laughs> and so far, yes. No, they won't. <laughs> I'd love to see how the single single Elon bracket goes. Because we'll have a couple more teams being in it now with the it being five groups in a group stage on the four, so that should have eight, eight teams in it. Uh, so group B is only playing three rounds, whereas group A is playing five yeah, rounds? Yeah, because they have more players. It's kind of uh, funny. We had four and, four and five. Yeah, we would have had five, uh, we, five. No one dropped. But... Um, I don't know what happened. Guessing American team, none of them woke up in time. Nope. They slept through the match. Sleep one for them. <laughs> uh, I'm very... I've done that in a couple times when I subbed for an American tournament. Yeah, me too. Low ink, I've slept through two low inks. Uh, My team was mass pinging me, mass calling me. <laughs> it, is a, it is a time and a half for sure. Can't wait to do my first low ink and wake up at 2 a.m. Something mm -hmm. I don't know. That's a fun time. I like doing the thing where I stay up for a copious amount of times and then play tournaments. Uh, I'm so sleep deprived that I just win. Just win. <laughs> just win. Yeah, just, just cope. Just bomb spam. Yes, always. Splat bomb me. Saw that in the frostbite because I was looking through that. <laughs> All mains go hard. Go brute. I remember, I think it was Toby's was Dynamo Splat Bomb. Whatever. Still surprised that they didn't come out with Golden Dynamo. Yeah. Why am I impulsively doing that? You, you're part of the Gamba now. I've infiltrated it. It's Gamba time. I remember I had like one point six million gold and then I started spending it. Do I call it gold? Is it coins or is it gold? I have no idea. I just call it money. You love doing stressful tasks when no sleep really gets the brain to not move any more than it's already not moving. Yeah. It goes brutal. I mean if you're already doing something, like I was playing Splatoon for like 15 hours when I started, when the 20 started, LSL. And we ended up winning it. So you know, it goes hard. 
It oh, was very just, stressful though. Just waiting on Killer Base and Smidge Fight Coil. Couple more teams here. So should just be one. I hope the bracket's updating properly. Pro properly. Might have to do a little bit of golden rotation streaming tomorrow. Yeah, golden rotation's up. I was playing a little bit early today. Fun, fun rotation. Just gotta find some people to play. Nah, you gotta freelance it. You got this. You gotta freelance it. Uh, kind of annoyed. Oh, wait, no. Isn't the league just becoming opens or opens is becoming league? Yeah, pretty much. It's gonna be interesting. I opens competitively now. Got to get a whole lot of sweat. <laughs> the challenges look kind of really fun. It's gonna be interesting. Like, there'll be like different metas for the separate modes. I feel like. That foggy one. A rip from seven. Uh, now I'm just kind of rambling on because mm -hmm. don't got much to do. <laughs> extra work, work, work. Oh my god, extra work woke something up in me that I'm terrified to ever see again. I, after I played extra work, looking at Sokai was never the same again. You, you can just remember that first wave. I still can for some reason. Yeah, uh, all the strats. Mm. Even though I barely knew them, I kind of just... <laughs> me and some people just kind of played it one night. And we mm -hmm. only got the bronze one, that's it. Oh nice, that's still really good. And we're like, oh my god, we're gonna be like one-off. And we were. <laughs> it's happened to me every time I've played Big Run. Oh yeah. I got one. Just need that little extra yeah. step. Little extra pep in your step. Nah, I like I like fresh streamer. Way better. Just gotta get ball point four star and I can be colder than it. How's Frostbite? An, an epic what? Ah, uh, just an epic flex. I currently... Epic flex? I, I, I play Splash, Ballpoint, and Machine. Because uh, apparently none of the teams that I ever want to play on want to have that meta weapon. It's like, <laughs> I might, as well, might as well just play it. Uh, Frostbite's been good. You know, filling out the team. Filling out what we want to play comp-wise. Um, messing up a team, uh, you know, trying to get the momentum going. It's quite hard when you have a new team. Had that bucket player, right? Uh, slusher. Oh, will? Yeah. The slusher player. Gotta, will? Yeah. gotta get in contact with them. I wanna <laughs> mate. I wanna start mating that. Oh, need some tips and tricks. Yeah. I get wolf flashbacks as well. Anytime I see two stingers approach on high tide, or two flyfish, sorry, <laughs> followed by a third. So, which team will we be spectating next? We will be We're coming up to the hour here. What shall we spectate? Dual flush toilet. toilet. Versus magic I wonder what makes that's kind of like a perfect combo. Imagine like a magic and in a toilet, you know, flopping <laughs> around. People flush their fish. It's still a common thing. You flush your what? fish, kids. Don't do that. I'm pretty sure people still flush their fish, right? Uh, I don't. And that's why there was crocodiles in the sewer systems. Like, isn't that the the, the really? story? Well, I mean, not in Australia, but in America. That's that's. That's insane. Could not be Stick me. one eradicated. <laughs> I was playing uh, extra work with silvers in, in wave three when it's high tide. 
Um, there would be two fish sticks that spawned opposite angles. Uh. And it was our, our task to get rid of them. Why would you flush a fish? I don't know. Ask the people flushing their fishes. Don't do that, please. <laughs> I, don't, I wonder how crocodiles did get into this. It was surely someone like they just walked in. They just walked in. Yeah, they're like, oh, I like this place. Perfect. They, they had the keys. This is my home now. You got some score updates? Some score? No. Oh, I forgot to. Get a We're just waiting on one more team here. Come on. Chillabass versus Spinch Coil. Smidge fight coil. And then after this, the six set, I will be taking my leave. Come in. The six, fifth. Wait. You'll leave when the. After this third set. Okay. All good. All good. Jay Splat, what's going on, homie? We're currently waiting for our next set here been streamed yeah you part of which one are you on are you which? uh dual flush dual flush subbing for them I do think. americans have dual flushes i always remember that simpsons episode where bart calls australia and is like which way does your toilet flush and ends up causing problems and they go over to america uh, they go over to australia i don't think anyone's and, following uh, no. I, I I know I remember <laughs> what episode because I watched you it. You know what episode I'm talking about? I know what episode, but I don't remember the the he calls blushing this part. Kid. He I remember calls, he calls this reason. kid and then yeah, he's like, which way does your water flush? Like, which way does the water spin? Because apparently it was way. like opposite. Yeah, in, it in is. Australia to America. Yeah. But that's but, um... because of like the hemisphere or whatever. I think I can't remember. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm kind of just me. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Hey, I, uh, I I believe this guy in the chat more than Fishy? myself. Is Ark the legend? Ark the legend. Ark the I legend. Call him Fishy. Anyway, eat my shorts. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I kind of thought. Uh, still waiting on the scores. It's right now. Ends now. Just one more. We still got five minutes left to go. We do. Oh, I forgot. I forgot we had it like that. <laughs> A little bit of extra time. Yeah. We got an impatient one sitting in the seat next to me. <laughs> didn't she say it flushes twice? No, I didn't say it flushes twice. I just said it flushes the wrong way. The, the right wrong way. way. Anywhere. <laughs> yeah, the wrong way. This is an Australian tourney. We're going for Australian vibes here. Okay. Yeah, I did not know there was a wrong way. There is a wrong way. It's the American way. <laughs> that is that is fair. Anti flushes. Are you an anti flusher? Do you not flush? What? <laughs> Should always be flushing, but not too much. So happy. No oh, just enough. Don't flush if it's unnecessary. <laughs> Sorry, this has gone a really weird way. <laughs> maybe, maybe we stop, stop talking. You no, no. I think it. I, I mean, it's a weird way, but is it a wrong way? Maybe we're just being real. I'm being real. <laughs> no, let the to toilet water <laughs> evaporate before I use it again. We're gonna flush Maggie straight into the sewers with the crocodiles. Damn. I was talking about that, Jay Splat. I was talking about how you guys were perfect against each other because you could put Magic Cup in a toilet. Make sure you're using the big flush for, for that one. That's a how, big how would the Magic Cup even fit? Isn't it like well, really it, big? It be, no, it could be a small Magic Cup. They come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, don't Sorry. tell me my controller's <laughs> low battery now. God damn it. <laughs> so I've got my spare controller. You mean like anti clockwise? I know you meant that, but I took your words wrong. Give me a minute. I'm going to go. We're having a controller issue. That's the oh, right time. Oh, come on, of course. The score comes in right now. <laughs> I just saw that out of the kill corner of my eye. It's alright, you get a kill couple minutes. Do you think you can make the announcement? And 
Yeah, I can make the announcement at the same level. Uh, should, like, start in five minutes. Where is it? This one gets to be a little bit worse. Hey, at least it's like not dead though. This is my non new controller, so it'll be fun. <laughs> oh, I already made the room. These crazy people. People talking in the wrong chats. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna format it like that now. Yeah, that's how that's how we're gonna format it now forever. Thank you. Not just me saying and stuff. Mm -hmm. Damn it! Try changing the song. Yeah, try. you delete my message? I did. Now it looks nice and clean. That's, Amy works here now, fair. everyone go home. You Sounds know, like you do um, need a T.O. What? <laughs> Me? A T.O.? Uh, Sounds like you need some, some help with some things, but... I could digress. So what are our maps we're going into round three with? Group three? You don't have round four and five maps, FYI. Um, oh. We're starting off with zones on Mako, Tower Control on Undertow, and Rainmaker on Scorch uh, Forge. I'm gonna quickly, we'll give me a second. I, I had the map list for a different thing. I can, I can do it really quickly, it's okay. Just go to sendry.ink. I mean, I want to no, just be quiet. I can't spill my ways. I haven't set the terms for that yet. I just did it. I'm good. Um, or just realized. Uh oh. Um, Minus three minutes. 
You mean to tell me we aren't playing Haggle Zone five times? No, unfortunately. Haggle Zone five times. God damn it. Damn it. Oh, fine, I'll make I'll make the next. I'll make group five just the exact same map mode five times. I mean great. I mean <laughs> I won't do that. Only Hagglefish. <laughs> <sighs> Minced meat zones. You should put mincemeat zones in there, for real. There was gonna be mincemeat zones, but then I changed it. I used a generator, but I did some changing. <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. You mean to tell me you don't want to play? I don't want to see. I, d I don't want to see mincemeat zones. In it, oh, doesn't matter. I I'll just. Whoops. Literally just edited it. I, I edited it. It's chill. It's chill. No. All right. Next map. <laughs> zones on macro. I like zones macro. I think it's a good, a good map. Um, good balanced. I mean, it's an S2 map, so we already know we're not going to be too cramped. It is a smaller map. I mean, if you're playing e leader, you can, if you have the ability to push up, you kind of can take control. Um, while your team pushes further into their base, but for zones, you don't really need to do that. You don't have to push too far. Some good crab spots. Mhm. Mm On Perfect. the stacks, definitely. Yeah. Maintaining your stack is definitely an important point. Um, in the opening, making sure they're not aggressing too quickly onto their onto your own stack on the left side. I feel like we'll see some QR gameplay from some people, especially on these two teams. From my memory, um, yeah, yeah. Someone on Magikarp plays a QR weapon. I think QR Wiper, if I'm correct. But I don't know if Wiper will be the play here for for this particular map. Waiting for one more of their members to ready up here. Society has moved, moved past the need for any of her maps. There's only Haggle Zone. <laughs> yes, we only play neutral on Haggle Zone. Uh, Haggle All right. mid E leader. Let's go. What do we have coming from the teams? Magikarp versus Dual Flush. Dual Flush. Pulling out the tri slusher shot E leader and did not see the last weapon there. Uh, wiper. And uh, we have a gal, gal heavy. heavy slusher and neo, or machine, sorry, neo slash. Very, very aggressive approach from both sides. It's like having maybe slightly more on the magic cup with the gal being into shot. Magic cup already taking the zone here. The wiper holding their stack well with the E leader. They are not playing QR. A trade on each side. No QR, but the hammer going down. Two magic up. Gotta play hammer well. Especially just not running in. Splash trying to move that Elio. Jumping out ball. though. It looks like we have 
Um, still flush taking back the zone here, pushing on that flush will they get the kill? Um, no, the still mm, flush taking the kill on that by getting swept up by the heavy from Magic Up. Two oh, plays are right down. Yeah, so they will need to move back, especially for the leader. Having not a strong foothold there. Zone recaptured by Magic Up. Pushing in quickly here. Flash are taking down and trying to regain on stack. But the Let's machine go down to poking them off the edge. Machine pushing up forward. That's I think the machine here is trying to look for an in into their base. Because mm. if they could hold that position. Especially they can sit there. under. Yeah, seven of the workers. Super coming out, but goes down from behind with the with the magic up gal holding their stack now. Full flush getting Does get by the, the e leader. Mm-hmm. Full flush though hasn't been able to regain zone here. It looks like the flush is going in to try and you know, take back some ground, take back their stack, but going down again. Only the E leader and the wiper up, but they don't really have the, the painting ability to take zone. Getting a pick, but it's not enough. It's not enough to take zone. They needed more paint coverage there. Which that's... with the slosher with the tri slosher down. And then that's the, the run... shot jumping back in. <laughs> that's why you run better paint. Always need more shooters, especially if you're lucky on paint. Always good especially to have a splash zone. to round out the paint. Yeah, with the wiper, both the wiper and the tri slasher together. I mean, the wiper does paint, but it's it's just not. It's like it's a not the same paint. output. Mm, it's not the same output that you're gonna need to retake zones there. And listen, Magic Cup had a really aggressive approach there. You know, as soon as they took took back that um, zone, they were straight back onto onto, onto their stack, their, yeah. looking to getting in for a flank. And Dual Flash was only able to regain zone just once. Did not see a lot of special play coming from Dual Flush. I think the problem with Dual Flush there was that again they were they were again what we've been seeing is that feeding kind of mm. down, down again. They're only really having two players up against three or four, which is leaving Magic Cup with the um, with the advantage to just hold hold mid and hold zone. They didn't even mm. need to push up. They also did not have amazing specials to push. They had Hammer, um, Jet. Zuka and Wave Breaker. Yeah. Not the many only really dispersing one there was the Zuka. Yeah. Inkjet is decent, but I think the problem there was the Triceratops was unable to kind of get into a position where they could comfortably inkjet. And I could see what like you know Inkjet here on this map really good if you can get underneath their their plat and the drop and sit there with a Inkjet, kind of pushing them back, applying pressure. But they were just never in the position to kind of fully capitalize off that off that special we have seen um inkjet um used a lot more in the meta recently well yeah with the inkjet getting the buff and you know you see the uprise of vps you don't see many vanilla tri slushes um however turning into our second game tower control on undertow seeing same comp coming same from comp. dual thrush Looks like we switched on Magic Cup. We've got a now a Stamper Machine, Full Point, and Neo Splash. Same thing, they, um, Dual Flush does not have great specials. Yeah, they're Especially still with the same specials. Point. However, with, with the green paint less needed here, but still important, their shot will have to do a little bit of work here to secure, do secure pop space for the try team. Zuko. They do not get a pick, but that's Spatana sitting in that corner, waiting for them. Waiting for her. Taking a taking a shot from that tiny high circle. The hammer's coming out kind of with a lock against there. Gets a pick but goes down with the combo of the Duya and the bull point looking at him. Magic card passing through first check here. Especially going when down. you're passing leader a bubble. Yeah, on we do map. have only the bull point up from Magic Up at the moment. Full team from Duel. Dual flush. They'll be looking to try and you know take up that space, get get into positions through passing that first check. Stamper taking on the tri slusher there. We got two on tower. We got our shot in the corner. Kind of playing around. Looks like they're building up special here to try and take back space. And um, from magic up, tri slusher, uh, tri slusher coming out. One going down on the tower. 
looks like Magic Cup is regaining their Tokyo. Pushing through. Just the only thing you can do up. Ninja. Does get a pick. Going, going down to an ink mine, a lucky ink mine. And watch out for those. Got some specials coming out from the skin here. The zip cost goes Price down, it. unfortunately. So what we're seeing here, we've Magic Cup's got two specials behind them here, Inkjet and Rio. They could this and they could potentially initiali initialize a push here. Pulling out that Inkjet. Uh just plus one with a special. Here comes the Rio clearing out go here. Down. And you're just left with a tri slosh and the E leader is down. It's just the tri slosh left. On their snipe. Ink coming in for a round they can with the Try and go for their special, but they just decide mm. to rush it. Yeah, they were taking, taking a, a punt there. It wasn't going to be a 3v1 against Magic Cart. And the Stamper did secure the kill there. Quick react to the city of pushing from Sight. Coming out with an inkjet. A check, a pick there. Dual ink looking for an area to push through. They need to get them off power now. But it's too uh, late. They we're not quick enough. And Magic Cart takes this set. And with that the round. Yeah, Magic Cloud just had, had really aggression. If you look at the map here, you can see it's just all purple. Um, Little Flush couldn't really, couldn't really answer to the aggression. With the Wiper and the Slosher, you know, the the shot really needed to be pointing paint oh, just a wee bit more oh there. Oh my god, I just realized. <laughs> I just realized something. I didn't. Oh, far out. <laughs> Wait, that's set right. I'm going crazy. I didn't put down the scores. Uh, the scores are up now as I see them. Okay. No, I I I've got to put the first game. So. Oh, well, all is well now, and that is our last. It, this will be the last round for uh, Group B, but Group A has a couple more matches around. So stick Two by. More. I'm gonna be heading off now. Thank, thank you, you for, for having you, for having Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for having me as well. Um, I hope the rest of the bracket go well and good luck to the players. Hope to have you on sometime. Sometime soon. If, if you ever want to help. <laughs> GG's, homie. Good night. Bye. I almost forgot to do this. Oops. Okay. The next... Uh, the next team... Teams will be... Arranging... Ranging hair. Arranging hair and dual flush toilet. Arranging. Yep. English. Da, 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 da. Arranging hair. Done. Put that there. Boom. Alrighty. As we saw with um, Dual Flush, their comp was interesting to say the least. Not having an amazing special to especially hold back those pushes. Um, and because of the tri strike um, Magic Carp had, it was extremely useful for them to push back, especially with a Booyah too. You can push back them and get them off the tower too. But we are waiting for... What time are they ending? I got a bit... Okay.
my god. I'm going to leave the call so then no one else joins. Silver one is one in a million chosen one. Let's go. Got the silver one. Solid bookworm. Alrighty. Oh, food ticket. God damn it. I've got so much XP tickets and no cash tickets.
Well, I think that's everyone. So we just... Ah. Give them 10 minutes. Okay, we'll team leader for early. People start their matches. Okay.
Why is it turf flounder? Why is it flounder?
waiting for one more person. Oh, everyone's here! Can we... Let's hope this goes good. We have some hope for some good comps, especially with Desert Zones. We don't want, we don't just want bad paint comps. We've seen some not amazing paint comps coming from Full Flush Toilet. I do, do wish to see some double shooter action. We'll have to see some double shooter action. Double shooter. Pumps, especially in this in sensor zones, that paint is gonna be so useful. Spud zones haggle. Dual flush toilets comped. Splash try slusher, e leader and wiper and arranging hairs on um explode, splatter shot, wiper and Again, dual flush toilets comp is not very paint heavy. They do get that crab at the very start. Trying to get that pick on the machine. Not getting it though. Machine playing to the to that side very much. It's going to be a constant loop in the game. So you don't I'm going to see the Viper, I'm going for the flank with the hammer. Will they get the flank? They do get the machine. Do they get the expo? They do not want to get the machine to go down to the expo. They do. Arranging Air does have a, some plays going up, but the expo is going back. Expo playing extremely safe. They are holding holding them back right from there. Very far back. Their splash needs needs to get their crab. The wiper is behind the try. That was not good for the pick. The wiper is caught out. And this is their time to Start holding it down. If you pop a crab, will they get any kicks to slow down the zone? Just pushes in, does go down. And a raging head does gain control of the zone. Again. Wiper pushing it pretty far. Does pop down. Two, two, three of raging heads. Those do go down. Just, just, just the expo. They do jump out. Could have gotten the wipe out, especially with that hammer, but decided to throw it. Storm and Zuka and the Bria all come out, pushing them back, regaining the game. Dual Flush Toilet needs to use this crab properly, but it does go down. Unlucky. They'll need to farm up that crab. That is the only, only special that they can really push with. Especially if they want to keep on the zone. Or... The splash does go down again. Yeah, 
trying to neutral it and gain control, but it's too late. The first game of set set uh, set four goes to ranging here. During that game, it was mainly just um, dual flush toilet, not having even a foothold to get a push in, especially with their specials. I'm gonna continue touching on it. Their paint also is not amazing they, against arranging hair. They did have an expo and and a, a splash. I can remember. That's a shot. I can't remember. Seems like they're going to be going for the same comp again. I feel like they're really confident that this comp can work. But it's if they can just make it work. We do have PC Flounder. I feel like we're going to see a machine on one of these comps. And we're hopefully going to see a non-meta weapon, or a non-meta weapon, I should say. Same comp, but no crab this time, which makes sense because there's no real good crab spots. And we're seeing ballpoint, shot, wiper, and blaster on the side of ranging. Okay, both, both of these comps don't have amazing pain. But should be good is it both don't have a Dual flush toilet is holding that tower but they are holding it their players are holding behind the tower plus it does go down to the inkjet will Will, or will arranging here be able to get them off of a tower? This is where the use of a VR bomb on Tri Strike is really useful to get them off. They're just holding on to this push. Not stopping it. It just keeps happening. Blaster against the tower. That AoE. Did you just get crushed? It is now just the machine. Jumped out, I'm pretty sure. Or went down. That range loss that is chasing the wipe off. The wipe that does go down. This is where a raging tank can get an amazing push, especially if they just keep them out. They'll have to go past eight points at once to get a push. Try Zuka does come out, does get one pick, but the Trizuka does die. It is now 2v3. 
trying to isolate that Tricep into 2v1, but does go down to it, getting 2. They will have to hold at least mid if they want to keep the going. But they do. They have got his lucky picks and the jumping. There is a Trizuka behind them. Oh, the shot behind them. Trying to put it down the The wiper and the blaster are down. And this is uh, their push down. Ball point three. Far up. It does go down to the torpedo. A little explodey thing. And that's a wipeout for a rainy car. Oh, for the dual touch. That hammer placement misses the two. Would have been triple. Could have been. Could have been. Raging Hair will need to stop here, but more and more just keep going down. It's just a shot. They're going to need to farm for their Trizuka, but they do not. And that is a knockout. The dual flush toilet. Yeah, dual flush. That's what I remember. I think. I don't want to say otherwise. Oh, that's right. We're going to go on to our last game, Rainmaker Mahi. This is a really interesting map mode. Very open. It can be very easily dominated by some specials and weapons. Arranging head. Um, we're going to have to see. Seeing a double shooter comp, she's gonna have amazing paint. Love to see it on the side of um, arranging hair. Arranging hair, I feel like that's how I'm in set. No one going for pop, but arranging hair does go for pop right after. But 3v3, one team going to start needing to get some kills. Wiper does go down. How will they be able to spawn? Shot does pop dead by two. Bumbles all of its shots. It isn't 
trying to get those go down, I'm trying to get that working, but I know it's going to be able to back it up. There now, R ranging her is now at their check, trying to hold up the range, trying to get the ramming to at least get that, to at least get the check. get the check here. Will they, will they be able to hold it up or will it just be the ballpoint left and they do go down? It is a wipe out. Since it's Mahi, more of the map has opened up. We'll have to see if more people can see The T-Tech just runs in, does not try to peek the rest of At, In that situation, when you're the one, when the people are pushing against you, it's always good to just paint, get your special, try and hold the back of the fight. Rather than just trying to run in and stop, stop it. And it is another wipeout, this is where they do get checked. And will they push fast? Need to get the knockout. Two players on the side of the raging head do go down. One point off, but they were completely stopped. Either gonna let it go reset or they do pick it up. Interesting choice. They do get use their specials at a good point, but their rainmaker is going to the right side. Two plays do go down. As if, and if this two pick up on it, it could end very badly for the rainmaker. And it does go down. Remika is trying to push in for the knockout, but does fail. That way. Going to need to see some aggression from the range of man, especially if they want to give them a chance. Two of their most valuable players to go down there. And it's another wipeout. They're getting absolutely wrecked on the The Rainmaker again, just running in. Never a good idea. Just to give me the heart. They do have a tri strike with the Zuka. The tri strike does the Zuka position and the tri strike. The tri strike be able to be positioned. Good. Their Rainmaker is playing it a little far back. No, they're not. This is not my problem. A lot of used to just try and use your main weapon from the side of from the T-Tech. This is where they will need to get back to This is could not go in. To go down, it is just the leader on the side of Dual Flush. Will they be able to push in? The leader does go down, and the wipeout. This is where they need to get that knockout. They're just holding it up. They do have the chance, and they do- And they don't. 
The leader gets him at the last second. It was such a close game, but the, the set does go to dual flush toilet. If I can recall correctly. <laughs> Yep, dual flush toilet wins the 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 fifth the fourth set. Yep. Um well we'll be watching Why? Uh, I'll be back. Give me a two minutes.
Okay. Ready for the next, the last game. The last and only game. Two. Meaty Moblins versus Magikops. Alright. The, <laughs> the second map, because they decided to play the game again about the stream guy watching it. Oh well, it's okay. Should be okay. But we got Split Zones and Inkwell Art Academy. Uh, interesting map. Crab can be especially very useful in holding zone, especially on mid. You might see um, a ball point come from uh, Lucy bus, um, especially because of that range and some open areas of the map can be extremely useful for the ball point and the team. Double Splash, Explo, Slosher Comp versus the, the more meta version in my opinion. <laughs> Seeing the hunter just sharking on the on the on, on their leg gets two. Gets another. Is this a quad? Are we watching a quad here? Ah, oh. oh my! Goodness. But this ledge is extremely useful, especially for. They're just holding this area. That's actually like especially useful for this area. This is, um, Magikarp's time to go and try and hold zone. The two splashes inside the tray meet, meet, get the wipe out. They're going to be holding the zone a little bit longer. Pushing the ball point, playing very aggressively, trying to get those picks. It's now 2v2. All me ha Meaty has to do is just hold down the zone, and wait for all their friends to come down. V-Splash does go down, and they do get the zone, here, giving them that penalty, just so then um, the magic cup can hold down just a little bit longer. Moblins does get that but especially with the power of Expo and Tri Strike Pink is extremely Isolating with that 1v 
a 1v1 into a 2v1 from Magic Cup. They do have, have the play advantage, but they don't desire to work on the They pop crab, will they be able to hold it? They do not. Crab gets absolutely bullied under that ledge by that slasher. Double try here. Absolutely. Two down on the side of the team. Flash does get that um, bucket, but Crab's in a horrible position. Just trying to hold on for just that little bit longer. But it is a wipeout. And the final game of the, the group stage goes to Meaty Moblins. Very, in my opinion, meta comps from both teams. I feel like what we would have seen is um, Toby play um, Flings are there, but decided to play a different weapon. Very interesting. Okay. Um. We're going to uh, going to keep going. With only one team not making it to the final stage, which is the team that did drop, so that's okay. Be watching Dual Flush again. I don't know what time this is, but but we have not watched Killer Bass yet. I was like, you know what? We should probably watch these guys. They deserve a little bit of spotlight in this comp. I oh, just realized I'm still in the room because I'm a little goofball. Okay. Don't tell me these guys already started far out. Ah, these good balls.
gewusst. Ich hab... Probably... Just waiting on one team to, you know, wake up.
Oh, these guys really need to...
chest in the code, and I'm in. Game underway. Holy moly, that took forever. <laughs> uh. Oh, my God. Went for one more. Come on. Okay, we're going to be seeing Killer Bass versus, or Bass versus Dual Flush in brackets toilet. I didn't put that on the thing. Oh well, deal with it. <laughs> Grow up. Um, mode is Clam Blitz, Stage Brian Water. Very interesting map and mode. E leader will be extremely powerful on this map, especially on that snipe. Which, from my memory, Lush has been playing. Um, Lush has been playing the leader every time that I've watched Dual Flush play. But we have not seen Killer Bass, and I want to see them play pretty well. Hope to see them. And here we go into the game. We're going to see Hydra, Splatter Shot, and Wiper from the side of um from the side of Dual Flash try um Splatana Leader and Tetradulis from the side of Killabast. Not amazing paint on the side of Killabast. 
not even one shooter. But they will make up for it with the fast killing time from the Tetris release. Taking two kills. This is their chance to try and get that range. They do get a power clan. They get a little bit of cleansing and then they do go down. Dual flush setting up for the success. Getting this one popping one. Petra just throws himself at the enemy and gets one. Kill a bass. Two players down. Booyah, but instantly get shredded. They're just trying to keep that ball alive. They do jump out. Now, will they be able to hold against... Um, killer, killer base. That's... Stamp it does go down. This ultra stamp is pushing in. Does go down. This is this is um Philabas's chance to push in and get those points. They might even be able to get two power clans in. They do. They're now at a 42 point advantage. Wait. One. Ah, oh well. <laughs> Dual Flush has still not even scored one power climb in. The Hydra does go down to the leader. They're going to try and keep these power climbs alive. Petra just keeps rushing in. Always trying to find those new pieces that no one's looking at. And there are two down on the side of Dual Flush. This is a perfect chance for Killer Base to push in and get a knockout. The E leader does go down with the power clan. Will they be able to get the other power clan in before the timer runs out? They just missed the timer. Very close. This is all fucking chance to try and push in, but they all go down, just the hammer left. It does decide to get to the power plant and just for those extra points. They keep just trying to rush in and get those power, not using, not what I've seen using their specials. Both teams, um, specifically Dual Flush, have really decent, not great, decent specials to try and get in. And somehow, and somehow, Killer Base has made, it, made their specials work. That's fairly trying to go for that knockout. They'll just need a couple more climbs, but they do. But Dual Flush does get the knockout. This is where they need to push one of the most. They must. They need to have one of the biggest comebacks of all time. Especially if to beat that score. The stamp it does go down. She has a perfect chance to try and get that lead off, but fails. Panic pops through you all down just the shot now.
They don't seem to be going for their specials. They don't have enough time, and the first game does go to Killer Kill Kill Bass Kill, Killer Bass. Number one. Killer bass. Killer. What? No. I know who you are, Jam. I know who you are, Duality. Da -da -da. I figured him out. <laughs> oh no, he disappeared. Uh. Again, interesting weapon picks from both teams that game. Surprised that we didn't see any crabs that game. Would have been an amazing crab map. But now we are going to watch Splat Zones on Umami Ruins. seeing the same comp and we're seeing T-Tech and Explo on the side of Killer Bass. Killer Bass does have more more paint compared to Dual Flush. But now will it be who will be able to get the picks and not control so is. Killer Bass just holding it in in the test. If they want to continue, they will need to get their special, especially since they just want to be able to support the second to try to break. They might be able to hold the zone just a little bit more. For their whole team to come back and get their specials counter push. Um, dual flash is charging for 2v1. Now we just need to see... Dual flash try to get a push back. We are... And dead places are... All the places are trying to try and get in. And it does succeed. It is just that the Tetris. But will the machine be able to handle with it. But the Tetris um, roll off the map.
Dual Slush losing their foothold on holding the zone. But they did get lead, which will be extremely important, especially if they can try and neutral that zone. Keep, um, keep them at bay. Does two, it is now 2v2. They do decide to pop the, uh, feels like more of a panic the, uh, Killer Bass does get the, uh, going to need to push them back extremely fast, especially if they don't want to lose much of that. He does know that there's one behind him, clearly not, they're just rushing in. It doesn't matter, the catches does get handled. This is their chance to neutral the zone and give them that penalty. They only had three more remaining. Their shot is just stuck in the corner, it does go down to the catches. But will the side of the full flush player be able to deal with those catches just a little bit longer? They do. Killabass using their specials. But Dual Flush Toilet does need to hold on. Two of their players do go down. It's just the Wiper now. The Wiper just needs to hold on just a little bit. Uses their special. Does get two. This is this is um <laughs> this is Killer's Bass. Time to get a foothold. But the Stamper shucks and gets two. Stopping that push completely in its steps. And that is game. Killer Bass winning the second game of the, the, the single Elim set. Our next map will be Tower Control Flounder. Again, both of the comps that we have seen multiple times have not had the best paint ever. And very surprised that we've not seen a lot of the meta meta comps being played. But I feel like as soon as we go to those grand finals, or the semi-finals, we will see those comps being absolutely abused. Just so that anyone can win the prize of uh, 11, 11 dollars and a CSGO skin. Thanks, thanks, Jam. Real one. TC Flounder. <coughs> we'll need to see some sort of tri strike or booyah bomb. We do see a double booyah bomb. Same comp. Same comp on both sides. I can't remember. Going to see T Tech go down. Petrus does go down. Now two v three.
two side, two people on the side of, and it is a knockout. Dual flash gets absolutely knocked out by Killer Base. The Hydra and the Catchers do trade here. Tried shredding the gear, but it wasn't possible. You see the tri strike come out, but don't get Jace like, gets two kills. They're locked in a corner. The technical last one up. There is a jump still. They do not make it. This is dual flush is the perfect time to try to get some sort of push. They have their video. They pop it. Do they actually gain it? Two go down. It's the perfect play. But no one is assisting the, the Hydra. Again, yeah, interesting choice to go with the Hydra. Not my first idea when I think about that fight. The, the T Tech is flanking. Tries and takes a bit. Does get him with the bomb. Surprises them with the behind. Try striking. Riding tower. Bomb. Killed the Hydra with the bomb. They'll probably try and just kill all the people with the bomb. Throwing it off the tower. An amazing flank by the TK. Will they be able to get there? Very, very. Amazing. Two of their plays do go down. Not an amazing time. They really just need to paint. They have a perfect area of painting just to the right. Just beside them. They do have the special now. Now will do Lush Toilet be able to get them get themselves on the tower? Or will this end not amazingly? Just realized that we've been checking. does come out, they do ride the tower, just touch them. Just need 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and they do get the lead. Killer that base does need to get the push, especially they do need to get them off too. Or else this could be extremely devastating for them. They're just jumping back onto the onto the tower as much as they can. Just killer base now, just trying to stay alive. But it is a knockout. Playing way too close together, especially on that choke point. And they do not get the comeback. That is the third game, and the third game does go to Dual Flub Toilet. Now, since they took so long at the start, they will only be able to play one more game, so this, it is a tie. Um, I don't know. If it is a tie, we'll do a coin flip. Because we don't have the time. At... 
Uh, at ditto. One more game. If it's a tie, then we do a Twenty-eight. That's crazy. I don't. I, I don't really know. Twenty-eight. Oh, twenty-eight. Oh, that's Okay, we're going to see a very, very interesting comp from Killer Bass. No, no shooters, meaning basically no paint. And on the side of Dual Flush, they do have one paint positive of them. It'll be interesting to see how they do get a point. Just the try slot, but they just need to hold on. Stop, stop them from getting the check. They are going to need to use that to their advantage, but this is closed down in there. It's just the shot block. Shot does go down. This is where um, Killer Bass King gets their. They do get the check. It is another wipeout. This is Arcana. The Stamper is going ham. They're all going ham. They're going to go right side. Smart decision. But they do go down. They have three are coming out. Interesting choice for the Viper to pick up the ring. Losing some of that killing power that they really need it. And I've been seeing a lot of front lines pick up the ring. Does get behind and does get through. And they all go down. This is Dual Flush's chance to at least get the check. But no one's picking up the Rainmaker. No one is being able. They have their stand, but they do go down. It is now just a 2v3 basically. That Rainmaker won't be doing any good. Guys to the Tetradoys. Actually running circles around the floor, but does go down to the machine. Going to let them step. 
killer bait does need a push very quickly. Especially if they want to have a chip. Wait, no, they have I mean, Doofla. Get, get everything. Oops. It is now just the charger. Will they be able to hold mid for their team to jump back in and maybe even hold? Continue that push. Two of their plays do go down. Doolflush needs to hold this point at their base. Even if they want to have a chance, they need to get a foothold here. They need to stop losing their players. Players on the side of this place do go down. It is a wipeout. Maybe even a knockout if they have the chance. And it is. Team Killer Bass move on to the uh, the Temi Time Finals. Yeah, I think I was looking at the right team. Uh, goofy me, goofy me. Yep, I was right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm such a bloody goofball. Had some amazing plays. That Tetra kept popping off. Just did not want to stop. Running circles around dual flush. Flush. Flush your team. Ole moly. Ole moly, my English. Okay. Hey, that was actually perfectly on time. Team leader. SE2. We will be... Start... Now. Oh shit, I didn't say who I'm watching. Watching... Not... Uh, watching... Shite. Watching... Great... Question... And... Magic... Card. Whoops! <laughs> How much... Bumbled that... Hard. It is great question. So we're going to be watching Magikarp versus Great Question. As we saw before, Great Question. Um, 
when we were spectating them, they played extremely well. Pretty sure they had a decently meta comp. Can't remember. One of the teams had a very meta comp when I was watching them. And I hope to keep seeing some unmeta comps with some crazy wacky weapons, because wacky weapons is pretty funny. While we wait, we got we got the exact same maps from before. But this time we'll be able to hopefully see everyone play at their best and absolutely tear it up. That's what I like to see. Neo Splash Wiper Ballpoint Machine versus Splash Ballpoint Splatana and Gal. Both um, decent comps. Magikarp has a higher paint, has better paint compared to um, Great Question. The Ballpoint does go down. They do pop crab in the back door. Will they be able to use this crab? They do not find any pop crab. Can play on something to hold on. Two players on this side of Magikarp do go down to great crab. But is it the question of will they be able to get a push off? get many clans in, I only got a singular power. They are still holding it up there. Just the splash still alive. There are jumps. They're just holding it in their base. They do not want to go away. They have all this, their stuff ready, but they don't have it. it doesn't matter because they just have the willpower and they get through finding that wipeout. Which will be an amazing push for them. Being able to get even more time. The question is, will be. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> will is the question. Will Magikarp be able to stop it? But uh, no. Great question. Does pull out with a knockout in Clam Blitz on Brian Water Springs. Had some very very interesting plays there. Especially the fact that they kind of just never left their basket. They kind of just stayed in. Their basket. Great question, did. In terms of Magikarp's basket. They just absolutely held down their place and they just kept bringing more and more clans in. Even their main weapons is such an amazing weapon. But the next map will be Spot Zone Zoom Mommy. As we have seen before. Tiger Splitswing, indeed. We've got 
We got Lucy's platoon too. That's if that's anything. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Flat zones, ooh, mommy. We're going to need to see some pretty paint heavy comps, especially since it's zones. But we do not see a double shooter comp from on the side of Great Question, but we do on the side of Magikarp. No, no vanilla slash. The Neo slash does come out, in my opinion, a little bit worse of bomb, little bit worse special. But should be all made up by their skill. Two. Is already going down one for each team. We do have the crap mayo and the poppy on, but that's what Tana stand is. You're actually going to shred it. Question is will the team of great questions be able to push them back far enough? And they already go two up. Using their tri to try and hold them back, but their tri strikes would not spread out enough. All on one zone. Probably going to see a free off soon. Yep, and they're probably going to just chuck it. Try and push them either back or forward just to so they can try and get them out of the Pushing way too far, especially as we getting picked out by. Sucky Bomb and um, Mando. Absolutely ruining them, crumbling their hold on that zone. Megacops just instantly rushed in and took that advantage. Will Megacops be able to hold on the zone just long enough to get them? They do. They will be able to get the lead here. Now, is it, can they hold the lead just a little bit longer, even to get further, far enough into the, just to get a knockout or even to push them so far back? They start either slipping up to go down, they need to neutral. Great question, need to neutral zone right now. Need to forget about getting those picks and neutral zone and give them that penalty. We're going to need to see an amazing effort from Great Question, especially for holding them. Not overextending two of their weapons to go down and that stamp was in a horrible position, but now it's just um, Magikarp's stamp on. Will they hold or will they push? Forget about that. Gal does push in quite far, but no aid from other specials. Great question needs to stop losing their players and just kind of play it a little less um, aggressively. But it doesn't matter because they, s <laughs> they find the wipeout. They just need to hold it the zones just a, even a little bit longer just to get the lead and they do and that is game great question comes back with one of the <laughs> biggest comebacks of this tournament so far going from uh, 5 and uh, 38 68 and 5 all the way down to the knockout Great question is just needs one more win to secure the semi-finals and move on to the grand finals of Sloth Cup 7. Again, saw some very interesting comps. 
not seeing that double splash. I have seen before. Double splash is extremely useful, especially on zones. That vanilla and that neo splash. The tri strike, very good at painting. Probably shouldn't even be that good, but it is. TC Flounder. We're going to see a Booyah Bomb or a, tri a Tri Strike here. It's going to be extremely useful for a GG Tri Strike or a GG Booyah. Especially if they don't want anyone. Do not want to lose here. None of the teams do. I think I did it wrong. Didn't Magic Hops win one? We're going to see a carbon roller, double double machine, heavy splash, mach machine ball point, carbon roller, and a splash. Interesting comps from both teams. No crabs, makes sense. Not the best crab map, but still very, very strong. Pressure comes out. That's not fine. Another try strike comes out, basically just blocking their vision. Just all go down, it's just the heavy, they do decide to jump out. Will Great Question be able to hold this push? Or will Magic Cards be able to not allow them to move? An amazing opportunity for we are just to get them off. Power. A couple more seconds. So many tri strikes coming out from everywhere. It's going to be tri strike mayhem for most of these flashes. Just farm it and farm it. So they're going to slowly get VR. Just so many times at a time. Is it? Another tri strike comes out, we're going to see a lot of tri strike on and spam from these two splashes. Like I said before. Two, three, two go down, it's just the two machines inside of Magic Card. But will they be able to hold this? They do get them correct, but will they notice that anyone else is there? No, they do pop the VR. Will they? They all go down, it's just the splash. But the splash decides to sit near the tower. He doesn't find one, pick, but eventually dies to the uh, machine. Let's see how Magikarp retakes his rise win a lot more fights than need to stay alive and not die. But as uh, saying that, the heavy does go They do get a carbon roll. That machine is just holding it. The tiger is just absolutely shredding it. Having that power, the sloshing machine power, over the little legs. Using that we are, they are just going to continue pushing. They're not going to play it any way safe. They're just going to push. That's all they know how to do. That's all you can do. Push, push, push. The Slash does get into a bad position. So does their machine. It is just... It is just... And their... The Carbon Roller gets an absolutely crazy triple. Somehow survives the jump. Trizuka does not find anyone. He does get one player. They're all all of um Great Christian are playing on the left side this thing. No one is helping the ballpoint on the right side. They could probably jump over like the ballpoint and the carbon roller do go down. It is a 2v2. V2 
to just the carbon roller, and it is a knockout. Magikarp needs to take control of mid instantly. Get all their specials, regroup, hold them back, don't go down. Exactly what they did. They need to stay alive here, because everything could go wrong. Carbon Roller is shocking. Finds one. Finds another. Does go down to the slash. Every time Magikarp tries and gets a push, they can never get a foothold of mid. Great question. Just absolutely dominates mid as soon as they spawn in. Then this could be game unless Magikarp somehow knows this would be game. Great question. 3 0 Magikarp. Real faked. Real, 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 real. I think it is it trio. Oh, I think so. Could be wrong. Oh, Killer Bass and Eating Moblin still playing. I'll wait for them to post the scores because they probably know better than me. <laughs> Dead. Uh, I don't know. Please post the scores if any of you guys are hearing me. Please, I actually don't know. Oh, I'm guessing I was right. I don't trust myself enough. Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm guessing I was right. And that means... Great question? I'm right? I could be wrong. Great question does go on to the grand finals. Woohoo! Some amazing plays from Great Question, especially retaking mid as soon as they got wiped out. But and Magikarp could not get a foothold against um Magikarp could not get a great foothold against Great Question, especially whenever they got a wipeout and just went to mid. But what we will see going to be very interesting and I'm going to be back in five minutes five minutes tops uh, can I just kind of just like oh, that is it. zero and I'm gonna text be back in five minutes minutes or less I will be back very quickly oh my god I hate I uh, 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 uh. Uh, the B. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Alright, I'll be back in five minutes, but sit tight and look at the scores, Chad, to see if um, Greasy Goblins or Killer Bass won the, 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 the semi-finals.
Okay, just waiting on meaty moblins. Jamming the boys. Ooh. Has to put up a good fight against the meaty moblins. To take one set. One game off of them. I think that was their first game that they actually dropped. Lost. I actually want to go see. Wait a minute. Did you guys take a game off of meaty moblins? The real meaty moblins. You took a game off the real meaty moblins. Good job. Very interesting.
No! No! That is not fresh. No! <laughs> okay, I got this, I got this. Sloth. No! Sloth. There we go. I joined Sloth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got the. Oh shit. I forgot. The, I almost forgot to change the name. Woo. Meet E Moblins. Let's go. Both great teams made it all the way to the very end of the most epicest of the epic uh, OCE tournament of ever. Probably could have um, done, done a little bit of stuff different, but should be hey, okay. We've got Meaty Moblins versus Great Question. We got. We got. Two, Got Splat Zones Mahi first. And then we got counter picks. Oh my god, I've got counter picks. That's a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I was about to say. Okay. We're going to see. Oh, we're probably going to see some meta comps. I would be so surprised if we do not see single meta comp. Or oh, a decently meta comp. Because that's definitely what we're going to see from Toby. I mean, meaty Moblins. I just say Toby because Toby's kind of playing on that team and it's kind of just like, oh, yeah, it's Toby. It's that team. So let's see if meaty Moblins will be able to have a chance against great question. Okay. Flat zones on. We got flings a double splash Neo Vanilla Machine Machine Neo Wiper and Ballpoint. Two very interesting comps. Double Splash comes out from the side of Greasy Needy Moblins. Tenor Missiles instantly comes out right now just to provide that extra little bit of displacement just so that Needy Moblins can get that first zone cap. Needy Moblins also already has two plays down the end. Needy Moblins' chance to try and push them back into their base. Great question. Really needs to get their special together, especially if they want to push them back. Especially, and especially get their zone. It is currently neutral. Will they be able to get them? The, the penalty they do it is just it is just the flinger. Going to be holding on to those missiles until the whole team is back. Wiper is on the left side. Does go down. It does go down. Great question. It's a perfect chance to continue this push. And they do get the lead. Are they able to hold it? And they do not. But they do keep it neutral. Extremely important. Trying to kill that fling will be even more important to deny any 
and they do get the finger down, and they do capture zone, and they are going to hold it a little bit longer. They're going to need to see something come from them. Especially, they even want to have a chance of catching the zone. They do, they use their specials. Amazing times. Isolating 1v1, 2v1. Absolutely just winning those fights. And they do get control. Crabbing in a very, very interesting spot. Not the best crabs I've ever seen. But they work. And it is a wipeout. This is where Medium Moblins does get that lead. But will Great Question be able to get or neutral or get that lead again? Just trying to stay alive, especially for that missile, is such an important part of Medium Moblins. Does go down with the trade. Great question, holding them back really well. Inkjet does get one, the 2v2 basically. Will they be able to, will Great Question be able to hold that zone just a little bit longer just for them to come in and paint? They need that extra little bit of paint, they just need two more points and they do get the lead. Great question, if he's having an amazing push here. Two do go down. The ball point does go down to this Neo Splash. Neo Splash does have their special using it. Does not find any kicks, especially since he's not an amazingly placed try strike. Great question, just keeps on holding it. But Medium Moblins does come back. Gets, gets, gets the, the zone. And they're now ready to try and hold that zone even longer. They're playing it really far back compared both teams are playing it very far back, but now Great Question is now going to try and push in using that stamp. It's very effective one. So it's two down. They decide to pop the three are not the best idea, especially against the stamp with that object damage. Cannabis is all on to that wiper. Kind of a waste of the special. And that is game. The first game goes to Great question amazing use of specials interesting um interesting just interesting <laughs> and interesting to see meaty moblins loses another um game they've now lost two and um, great question has lost. I'll tell you. Um, great question has not even lost one game. And yes, go goblins did start to panic near the end, but great question has still not even lost one singular game yet. Maybe this is the end of the moblins. Maybe we see the great question. The great question of Splatoon. Squid running around. Squid just running around. Just being around. That's the great question. Of course, love seeing the meta comps. At least it's not like the old meta where it's just fucking. Uh, it's not. It's not just um. Sorry. Um. It's not just um. It's not just splash machine. That's it. And at least it's different now. So at least it's healthy, you can run the splash to at least make some jumps better. 
especially if it struggles with pain, if it struggles with range, you run ball point, blah blah blah. But here we go on to the next game on the map. Um, TC Inkblot. This was picked by Greasy Goblins. This must be a pretty strong map. They're running two shooters again, except swapping out that Neo for the shot. And they do, um, and a good question is running Machine Neo Splash Wiper and Ball Point. Again. Popping that missile really fast does find one kill. They're going to need to pop a crab somewhere. But they get pushed back, and it's just the machine on meat beating Moblin side. Will the inkjet be able to get 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 that um, machine? He is just going to hold that, pop that Bria, force them off. Another ten missiles. Ten missiles just going to be heaped on spam by Toby. That's all you need to do. Two people, like two, two players do go down the side of, um, great question. Needy mob is perfect time to keep on the push. They do get the lead. They're going to continue running the tower because they do have the two player advantage, the three player advantage. Pop the cabin in an amazing spot. Very, very strong spot. Two players on the side of me can hold the go down. They still need to keep that flinger alive, especially because those missiles were one of the strongest specials they have on their team. Wiper does trade with the machine, but then the splash, the new splash goes down, and the machine. It's just the ball point up for a second. Flash is just holding it here. Not finding a kill, but goes down. This is every crab shot. So sad. The Viper just has such good object damage. These Spartanus have great damage. Two go down again. Great question. Really need this push right now. Else it could be devastating. Two go down. This is where they pop the uh, Try and find those plays, then pop the uh, Try not to die to the fizzy bomb. They have their hammer and their jet. But is it? And they use the ah me one does use the we are to get them off the tower just for a little bit, just so they can get them support. But it might not be enough. Shot does go down. It's just the ballpoint up. They're going to need to push back. Kind of keep mid. They're going to need to keep mid, I mean. Not try and let them get too far. Oh! All the flings I want to do, get missiles, play like a backline basically, just get more missiles. That's all they need to do. They're running, yeah, they're many. They're running, um, special up and ninja squid. Ninja squid is what you need to do, basically. Most rollers, apart from the dynamo roller. Two goats down, one for each team. Yeah, just holding that booty up. Loose Cruises is going to run in with that stamp. Does shred the crab and does find a kill against the splash. Meeting Moblins does a good hold of the I have a good hold of their lead. 
just is good question. Going to be able to hold, get back into the mid, kill them, or get them for picks to push forward enough. Even try and get that win. It does not seem like they'll be able to do anything because of the tenants. The next game does go to Meaty Moblins. Very I feel like great question did start slipping up slipping up especially at some points. But they still have some games to go, especially if they wanna win the epic prize pool of eleven dollars and a CSGO skin. Waha <laughs> Zones, Mako, that is the next map we're going to be seeing. Gonna make sure. And I'll... Is it SZ, Mako? Going to see Splat Zones make a very, very s a small map compared to some of the maps that we have seen. But now, what will we be able to see from Great Question and Meaty Moblins? Very, very fair in the matchups currently. Very, very high skilled players, especially in the, sh in the OC region. If you do currently want to see the bracket, or how it's been, or it's how it's been, you can do exclamation mark bracket. And if you want to join the Discord, do exclamation mark Discord. And then, yeah, you can see all future notices on future swap cups. Maybe if I decide to post it for me, maybe even that. But currently, just kissing. Now, we're going to need to see paint comps, of course. Are we going to see ten missiles coming out from Toby again? What else? What else would you play? We see Splash, Neo Splash, and Bucket. We're seeing Ballpoint, Carbon Roller, Neo Splash, and Machine on the side of Great Question. Both very good comps, but um, meat, meaty moblins will outpaint them a lot. Get that early ten missile. Stop any carbon roller from trying to charge anywhere. But great question. He does find a hold of mid. Find a way to get a hold of mid. One does go down. The nearest one is behind him. Where's that the bucket? Where's the bucket? And just killed and held that so much. Their ball point is a very, very good part, especially for that range. They do not want to go down. They are basically their only range choice. Ball point's kit is so good, especially the fizzy bomb. So much of paint, so much of protein. And we do see another turn of the again. Just gonna be spamming those kind of misses. Trying to stay alive, sometimes even shark maybe, and keep those ten misses coming. You wanna continuously stay alive if you're playing so like, never wanna try and put yourself in any danger. Just trying to make it so that you do have all the odds turned in your favor. 
Needy Moblin does get a good push here. Will they be even able to hold it? That bucket does go in and does go down. Will Needy Moblins even be able to hold it? Carbon Roller does try and get a pick on the nearest, but fails. And great question, does get a hold of the zone. One or the other team is going to need to get this country. They do see a trash show coming out. Pushing them back. Messing with their vision. Going to need to see a good place to crab. Especially one with high ground. Not an amazing spot, I would say. But does work. Does not work. It's absolutely wrecked by the um, machine. How are meeting moments going to hold the pushback against Great question. See a tenemus, but will um Meaty be able to use the tenemus properly to go down? King gets three and it is a wipeout. Will Meaty Moblins will not be able to get his own game. Not have time to move forward. And that is another game to great question in uh, Zones Mako. Going to see what map gets picked next as the counter pick from Meaty Moblins. Rainmaker, what are we seeing on Rainmaker? Undertow or Hagglefish? If they even choose Rainmaker. What do they choose? Rainmaker, Haggle. Is this the map? It is. They choose Rainmaker on Hagglefish Market. Hagglefish Market does allow for some pretty insane flanks, especially if you do not get spotted, and if you have Ninja Squid, and go through that left, left side. Both of these teams will probably have some crazy comms. Yeah, probably. I would say they have comms. I'd like to, I'd like to, yeah, feel the this thing. Kinda funny. Oh well. Oh, oh well. Hello, fish. Rainmaker. Again, probably going to see another me meta comp coming from Meaty Moblins. Love that they've changed their name to Meaty Moblins. Seeing a T-Tech instead of a Splash, a less spammy weapon, does have a better bomb though. Seeing the same comp coming from, um, great question. I feel like I'm not saying their name right. Yeah, it's great question, it doesn't matter. Great question does get the pop first. And we do see a ten of missiles, we will, might see, um, a flinger picking up the Rainmaker here. Or well, they might be holding back, waiting for those specials to come up. Just going to be sitting back, farming for that special.
great question. It does grab the ring because they do have a play advantage. Will they be able to get the check? They do not. The T Tech just kind of slipped in behind them and got that kill. Even Robin's bringing the Rainmaker away from everyone. Did not know where the um, Blinzer went, but they are all down. It's just the Rainmaker now. Decides to use the um, Inkjet on the Rainmaker. Interesting choice. Now we're going to see an amazing push coming from Mark. Do not see a push coming from Great Question. Great Question does need to have some sort of push form or deny meeting moments from even getting any more points. Because if they do, it could be really hard for um, Great Question to even have a chance of pushing. They do, meeting moment does find a chance and does get really far having only 14 remaining points to go. Great question, does need to hold this, not try and go down, try and stay alive and we'll get them out of their base. Just the flings are, flings are gonna farm for missiles, hold it until their team comes back. That's it. We're gonna pop missiles, get all four. Again, pop on. 12 point flanky, pops their jet, gets one. Finds two and decides and does not get the check because they squid rolled. Actually, no, because they machine gun. Yeah, Crab is just holding that Rainmaker. No one has no chance of getting that check. They have to wait out all these specials to find picks, especially when they're overextending. Pick up the Rainmaker, keep it up somewhat alive. They need to get the poppy up. They have a perfect chance of poppy and getting the check right here with the resistance team, pushing them so far back. And they do not, they did not, they capitalized the buff now. Two do go down on the side of the um, Great question. Will Great Question even have a chance of getting that check? They do now, they finally get that check. All they need to do is push that Rainmaker past a certain point. Rain, um, Tandem Missiles is popped. This is, um, Medium of Wings. And to try and get that Rainmaker out of that spot, it does reset. Allowing for the, 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 the great question to be pushed back a lot further. Great question. Picks up the Rainmaker. They are pushing back. They are pushed into a corner and they do die. Beating Moment does get the wipe out. Will they be able to even get some push? Beating Moment's just holding it back. They need to get a win on the board. And they do. Meaty Moblins, two on two. Two versus two points, I mean. Oops. Counter picker, uh, counter picks have such a big impact on how um, these matches are played because the, some of these teams have had a, a lot of practice on these certain maps, especially on certain modes like zoned, which is great. Questioned clearly what they've been playing the best to, 
as they've won the two past zones map and they just played the last zone on the counter pick thing on the counter pick pool and I feel like great questions ability to play zones is really good and meeting Momlin's ability to play zones is not amazing they're really good at most other modes. We have not seen a single Clan Blitz mode game being played. We'll have to see one, especially if these scores are tied up a lot. But we'll see and find out. Again, very meta comps from both teams. We have not seen, um, what is it? Um, Flings are the kind of meta, it's still considered, I would say, top tier, just because of the special and how, but it's a decent weapon and very, very good, but it's, um, it's, um, kill time, it's range, can be a very, and it's like object damage in some times, it can be extremely difficult to, uh, um, to use, especially when using a ballpoint with object shredder, you can shred crab very decently easily, but we'll be going on to our next game, Hagglefish, Markets, Zones, double Hagglefish, we had R Hagglefish Raymaker last game, let's see, Hagglefish again, uh, more Metacom, uh, same comp? Can't remember. But, Flings Us, Splash, Neo, Machine, Machine, Neo, Carbon Roller, Deco, and the ball point. We have the missiles ready. Just need all the meat team all ready. Ready to push in at the right time. Push in as soon as the tri strike is popped. Meaty mobs will need to push in, especially with this. They do find one pick. Do they find another? One of the meaty mobs plays do go down to the inkjet. Another one. The inkjet gets a triple. Just, just the flings are roller. Those tenemus is a extremely good at just denying the area, pushing the players into bad position just so then they can get in position. Uh, so then the other team can get in Great question needs to hold on to this. this is their mode. Splatoon is their mode. But will they be able to hold it? I've noticed that we haven't seen a crab come to those questions. Probably just pretty not. It probably just doesn't want to play a crab comp. Makes sense. Mini Moblins does have lead here. What a great question to even be able to come back and hold this down. Pretty go down on the side of Mini Moblins. This is, um, great questions. Time to push up, hold that top, hold that zone. Meaty Mobbins all bunched up only they has a ten in the zone. On the side. Great ten is such an important part of these Meaty Mobbins pop. A crab come out for meaty moblin. Great question. Not having a great time against meaty moblin on this map. I would have expected a lot. Especially from I mean, from great question, but it doesn't matter. There's just a splash left. They're trying to find him. But the carbon roller just gets him. They're going to need to hold this position. Oh. Great question. 
They're going to need to have their specials. Meeting Moblin. Great question. Holds on to the and gets the lead. Meeting Moblins goes. Tries and pops crap but goes down. There's lots of jumps. Just trying to neutral and get the zone up and they all get wiped out. And that is game two. Great question. Started to fumble at the very start. Great question, did. This is kind of great questions mode. They've they've won all three of the zones maps. Very interesting. We have Rainmaker on the toe. Rainmaker was not Great Questions best mode last time, but maybe, just maybe they pull it back and win the set because this is match point, I'm pretty sure. From my knowledge. Match point. Yep. It is match point. Yep. Match point. Yep. I'm like going crazy. This is match point. Great question just needs to win one more game and then they will be known as the epic victors of Softcast 7. And they'll win the best CSGO skin ever. Very similar comp, but they do switch out the Neo Splash for the shot. But they do have the exact same comp on the side of... Great question. Now, is it that Great Question can actually win this? Great Question does not get the pop. They do see the Ten Missiles being spammed again. Having two mains of that um, special saber. Are going to be trying to push left side. Meaning Moblins does have the play advantage. Does get the check here. Unless they don't. No, they do. It's just if great question can actually hold on to this. Carbon roller goes on a kill a, a killing spree. And they do jump out. This is their time to just push. This is a great question. Perfect time to push. Try and hold their position. But they do go down to two missiles. Which is an important special to Medium of the Comp, as always. But they all go down. Medium of the All they have to do is just knock them out. This is not great questions mode. Choice, clearly. It's going to be interesting to see how they play in TC or even time. But Meaty Mullins does go down. Club and Roller, very interesting pick. Again, I would have expected to see the Wiper. Wiper is very, very good. And that object damage against the crab with the um, Zuka. Very, very strong. This is great question's chance to get that push. But no one was playing with them on the left side. Everyone was on the right. They got to pop the tenements. Korea is um, popped. And they do go down. 
Great question was so close to having an amazing kill, but was not banking off their lane they got. Their shot almost has a super, they're going to pop it, try and find someone. They find someone, but they don't get that pick, and they do get popped here. Question, not, not seeing like it. They don't have a good foothold of mid. This is their chance. Especially once the Rainmaker can find themselves. They do have the play Can they keep it for very long? They do almost get the crab, but it's still alive. And the machine pops dead. Korea does come out. Great question, this is their chance to push. The only issue is on Undertow, on the right side, it's really annoying to get a push off, especially with that um, height advantage. Tiger does get one. Will Tiger be able to get even more? The Rainmaker does go down. I don't know what to. Oh, it goes down to get shot. It's now just a 2v2. We see both teams trying their hardest to either hold it, hold them back, or just trying to get that check. Gets absolutely nuked by the flame missiles. Kavanaugh tries to go in but gets knocked out. Will the needy moblins be able to get the knockout? Or will the Great question to be able to get that over time win. Me, Melvin's just holding it in that corner. Either going to push back or just hold it in a position. Jump off the map, lose the rainbow. And it's and it's overtime. They need to pop the rainmaker right now, but they're all running away from it. They need to pop it really fast. Someone needs to pick it up now. They have that little bit of overtime. They just need to get the first check. One does go down. The shot is pushing it, and the shot gets the Rainmaker. That is uh, one more point to Meaty Moblins. And this is will be the final game. Final game. One more. Yeah, one more. Is it two more? Wait. Can't remember. It's one, right? B. Yeah, BF7. <laughs> uh. One more point for the end, one team to win. Will it be Great Question or Meaty Moblins? It will be extremely dependent on the counter pick. They've had Great Question of only one on zones maps this whole Grand Finals. But we'll have to see, will will they rely, will they play TC, or will they play Clam Blitz? This is the question, will they play TC Mako, or Clam Blitz Museum, or Scorch Gorge? Yeah, probably talking it over with their team, probably because they just don't want to have... <laughs> They don't want to mess up here. It is the grand finals their last time? Both of the team's last chance to try and win. Dear Epic. CSGO skin. I can't. I can't take it seriously. I can't take the CSGO skin seriously. No. <laughs> no. I can't. I just can't. 
Yeah, the big swig. Probably going to see Express Big Swig. TC Mako. No one wants to play the Clan Blitz. Rip Clan Blitz. TC Mako. The game to decide. The, the game. Game to the game game. We're going to see some of the most sweatiest gameplay. I'm pretty sure this is the final game. Could be wrong. Could be like I could be going crazy. Could be could be me being me. Also, if you want to make this just a little bit more little worth it, you can donate to the prize pool. But if you go down down to the bottom in the description of the Twitch stream, I think. And you click on like the money one. Anyway, double splash, the double crab comes out, the sheen and flings off. Same comp from Great Question. They really loving this carbon roller splash machine and ball plate. But the flings is just gonna be spamming, pops the missiles at the very start. They BD Mob does need to get a foothold here. Does find the pick on this machine. Does get the ball point. It's just the carbon roller. Will they be able to get the carbon roller? But the carbon roller just running amok everywhere. this be just a one point game? Being traded back and forth, that splash trying to get that pick, but it's just traded. The Tenemis is coming in again, pushing back all of the team. We might see a double crab here, we see one crab popped on. Um, good question, Stack. Push back. No, it's important. They get one kill. They need to find they, the roller is pushed up extremely far. Good question has an amazing push here, but the, um, all the plays do go down. It is just the machine and the splash up. And the splash does go down. It's not going well. For. Um, They almost had that chance. Good question. Does have that lead? It's been a minute. We've not even pushed past 10 points. But this is where Meaty Moblins does get that push. They do go past 10 points. They find another kill. They're trying to get that inkjet. Inkjet just Rex the crab. Going to see Carbon Roller come on the tower. Wreck the splash. And the Wings are Roller. Coming in. And just absolutely. Has a good push going here. Will they be able to pick it up? Two of their players do go down. The most important player, the missiles player. They're going to need to farm it again, especially if they want to have their foothold. This is the special layout of the line. Splash point extremely cautiously. Trying to get that pick on the carbon roller. Pushing it back. Does not want to get that race. Gets the crab, pops it. This is where the crab finds it. Just keeps one person in. Goes down to the machine. It is, 
is a 3v3. Can Great Question hold on to this and try and get that push that they oh so desperately need to, to have the chance? Six, six points off, seven points off having that lead. The carbon roll does go down, the machine does go down, ten missiles are out. They're riding this tower. Great question, so close, and great question does get the lead. Will medium bombs even have a Will medium bombs be able to get back and hold this and try and get them off of the tower as fast as possible? Or will this be great question game? Medium moment does get all those picks. Gets the wipeout. This is this is their chance. They need to get their specials. They need to use them. They need to not let anyone in. The machine goes down. The tenemus comes out. The splashes go forward. Great question gets on tower, and a uh, great question wins the the slot cup. If I smart enough, uh, BO7, they win after only three games that they lost, and it was only to meaty moblins. It was a. F a f <laughs> hard for a battle and we do see I would say a team that I wouldn't even I haven't even seen I've seen the players yes yes not this team very very good job to both all the teams that have played um and I will DM uh, the, the great question, how they want all this stuff done, and yeah, I'm going to, um, do a little something, because, uh, what is it, I'm going to make an announcement, and then, uh, also, what I'm going to do after that is, um, said yes to it. <laughs> I kind of regret it, but um, Agent, the other organizer that helps out sometimes, uh, decided to, oh, I decided to say yes and say we're going to play Valorant. I'm going to stream it, apparently. So, if you want to, I'm going to stream that, so Oh, uh, unless he literally go now, then that's that's fine. Then I'm just gonna not. <laughs> Cup seven is over. I'm going to end stream here. Upload it to YouTube. Try and maybe do some stuff. Maybe not. I will get. And do a little bit more other stuff, but yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, I hope you all have a good day. And one day, compared the level of these two great teams. Or, if you are, get better than these two teams. Because I love, love to see the competition grow. Anyway... Sloth Cup 7 is over. Look out for Sloth Cup 8. And... Yeah. Have a good night, everyone.